very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking I know it has been a while since we posted the last live trading video I was really somehow uh, bit off and I was not in the mood uh, also I was a little bit sick that's why I was really avoiding making uh, videos I was barely able to make the weekly and mid analysis video um, just as usual we need to prove that this is indeed live account uh, for the live trade video let me just of course first just hide my account number i just don't trust anymore to show it as you can see on the top to, on the top to the left i'm just hiding the number and let me just drag this uh, toolbar to the bottom as you can see this is indeed my live account so no games being played here uh, some people are just assuming I'm doing these live trades on my demo account. This is my live account and all the trades are being made right on this live account. So uh, today as usual we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy. It is one of the best strategies and I'm very sure uh, most of the followers are actually waiting for this strategy to post more videos about it. Therefore I'm right now on the 4 hour chart and I'm waiting for a good opportunity to start scalping the market aiming no less than 20 pips if possible and as I'm always saying don't force the market to give you uh, 40 pips or sorry 20 pips uh, in the one trade if you can get even 10 or 18 pips or 15 pips just take it now we can see here good opportunity on selling the euro USD because as we can see right now we are here, here facing a Oh my goodness, wait a minute. <laughs> right here we are facing a resistance. Uh, the problem, this is one of the common mistakes by the way. It's a common mistake done by the traders. Um, they are looking here at this resistance. Then they are seeing this breakout candle. Then they assume that this resistance right here is going to keep its position as a resistance. And right here we can start sell the Euro USD. No, actually you are wrong. Because for in order to start shorting the euro USD, we have to see here a bearish breakout candle. So there should be a bearish breakout candle, meaning a red candle here, breaking out from this previous resistance. Then this resistance after the bearish breakout candle is going to keep its position as a resistance and the market most likely is going to continue the fall. It has to be a red candle, otherwise we cannot enter this setup. What we are seeing right now is this resistance here after the bullish breakout candle is becoming now a new support. Don't confuse yourself please, don't get mistaken between the bullish and the bearish breakout candle. The golden rule, let me write this for you, maybe it's important I think as it might help uh, those who are using the strategy recently. Um, we can sell only after seeing a bearish red candle. We can buy only after seeing a bullish or a red or sorry not a red I mean blue or green whatever color you are selecting in your MetaTrader um, candle. So be sure that you are selling only after seeing the bearish breakout candle and buying after seeing the bullish breakout candle. So just in, uh, in order to save your time my friends and to not make this video so long, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you once I find a good setup. So look at that, I find here a good setup. Uh, I will enter I think immediately, let me just be sure, let me just be sure, uh, one second, I just want to be sure of entering this setup before we proceed, it's very close to the 23.6 and go to the one hour chart, it seems all good if I'm not mistaken, that is gonna be good for shorting the CAD JPY. Uh, allow me to explain the reason for entering this setup. As I just mentioned to you, we can only sell after seeing this bearish breakout candle. What we can see here, and let me zoom in, what we can see here is we had here a support level right here. So this was a support. This support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle. 
Now, after having this bearish breakout candle, what we need to see is a previous resistance on the very same level. Let's go to the left. And indeed, we can see that we had here a resistance right here and right here and right here. So that was a safe level to start shorting the CAD GPY. And now let's select where we can start short, uh, uh, selecting our take profit level. Now, let's go to the current level. And from there, we can find our take profit level. Now, if we look closer, we can see that on the four hour chart, we are having here a support. So this was a resistance. This was a support which has been breaking out. Now, after the market has made a reversal, this is a support. Therefore, this support right here is going to be my take profit level because this support is the nearest one to my entry level. Now, since we cannot really see that on the four hour chart, it's more wise to move now to the 30 minute time frame. Now, on the 30 minute time frame, we can see it now closer and we can see it actually more clear. So this reversal is happening right here on this resistance on my entry level. And here is laying my take profit level because this is the support. Now, as I'm always saying to you, uh, the 20 pips a day strategy, you cannot always get 20 pips from every single trade where this trade here is giving us 17 pips of profit because the support is only right here. If I wanted to select a 20 pips of profit, maybe the mark, the, the take profit level is going to be below the support. And this way I'm risking to lose the trade because what I'm really sure about is most likely the candle is going to fall down reaching this previous support and then it might actually reverse and continue to go more up. That is the real power of my strategy of uh, 20 pips a day. We are aiming only the bouncing. So the, the candle or the market is supposedly going to reverse or bounce from this level, go down right here, retest this broken support, and then only then it might actually continue going up or it might continue falling down. We really cannot be sure what I'm aiming is just the bounce, just like the market going up, failing on the resistance and then falling down. That is one of the normal behavior of the market. That is what actually I'm aiming to make some decent profit. So that is one setup we have entered. And right now I'm just checking to find any other good setup that we can use in today's video. Uh, definitely yes. Yes, yes. And another yes. That is good one. That is a really good one for the Euro GPY. Again, the same thing. Uh, we had here a previous support level. Let me just show you. This support level right here, which was a resistance number one and a resistance number two in the past. Uh, it has become here a new support level. And then we can see this bearish breakout candle breaking out from this support. Don't mind this candle. This candle is actually for the opening on Monday's, uh, Monday's uh, opening market. Therefore, I don't really count it as a bearish uh, as a bullish breakout because, as I said, it is just at the opening uh, time and it's not really that strong. What I'm really caring for is the current mark, uh, the current candles, which is this one here and also seeing the support right here. When you see a breakout candle look like that, usually that's indicating a fake breakout. And I'm going to explain that in the price action video, which is taking really much time to be uh, produced. Anyway, as I said, uh, since we have entered our trade right here, I'm going to exit my trade at the nearest support, which is exactly right here. This is a support and this is here the resistance. So the market here reverse creating a resistance and then the support uh, the, uh, uh, has been uh, created here. And then again, after this bearish breakout candle, this resistance is going to keep its position as a resistance and the market is going to reverse all the way to hit this previous resistance. Going to the 30 minute time frame, we can see it more clear right now that we are having here this breakout, breakout candle. Look at that. Actually, if we look at it in the 30 minute time frame, it's way much clear now. Uh, we had here the support I'm talking about and here is the bearish breakout candle. 
that was the bearish breakout candle I'm talking about and right now we are having here this uh, tiny resistance level and I don't think the market is going to reverse above this level uh, it's going to reverse and go down all the way to touch this previous support right here so we are having here a support number one and I'm expecting for the market to, to reverse to hit a sub or to create a support number two very good so far let me go to the pound actually I'm I'm really enjoying trading the pound more than the others so now looking at the pound uh, pound NZD currently there is no clear entry point what we can do on the pound in uh, NZD actually if we think about it we are having here a previous resistance this previous resistance has become here a support so we are having here a support number one and right now the market on the creation of a support number two not to mention that the trend is going up and therefore let's try to follow the trend which I usually don't really like to be honest as you know uh, let me just uh, mark my entry point to be as safe as possible and on the 30 minute time frame what we can see here uh, is here the support and right here however we can see that we are having here a red candle so now the question is where should I place my trade when I see this red candle now as I said let, look at the, let, let's take a look what we are having right here is a bullish candle so we are having here a, a blue candle so after seeing the blue candle let's mark the nearest support to this blue candle right here if I look at the left we can see that this support right here is the nearest one to this blue candle this blue candle not to mention this week as well right here this tail this tail of the candle here is indicating that this level is indeed a support this tail here let's, let's look at this tail on the five minute time frame and you'll see it really interesting what we can see right now is this candle right here and the very same candle here or the tail level look at the tail here the same level of this tail has become a new resistance and now after this bullish breakout candle we can see right now that the market is falling down so this resist uh, this resistance is gonna become the new support and this support here is gonna keep its position as a support as well so what I'm trying to tell you here in this part is you can always refer to the smaller time frames to support your decision if you are doubting if you're having any doubts in entering your position as a buy or sell you can use the five minute time frame 15 minute 30 minute use whatever time whatever time frame you can just to confirm your entry and if you have any doubts use these smaller time frames they can give you way much better entry level especially if you are trading using the four hour or daily candles use the smaller time frames just to decide where you should place your trade as you can see this candle is still going down and I believe it's gonna continue falling more down until it hit my entry level so let me now pause this video until the candle hit my my entry level and I'm going to place my buy order here and then gonna exit the trade very very soon actually look at that that's the reason I really love to trade the pound in ZD because if I place my buy order here I can exit I think right here like that 20 pips almost yeah almost 20 pips like that uh, because a small bounce on the pound and ZD can really give you a lot of pips uh, keep in mind always that it is still risky as much as it's profitable as much as it is risky it can actually damage your account badly if you enter the wrong uh, trade so uh, let me just now pause this video and I'll be back to you or no need wait a minute the candle is really falling down very fast I think we're gonna enter the trade right away we are just like three pips away and I just want to prove to you that my my theory about the support and resistance is accurate and hopefully our entry will be just as perfect as I'm expecting I think it's gonna be a really perfect entry I don't think the, the candle is gonna go down to the support level right here no I think it's gonna reverse exactly where I'm expecting it to revert to reverse 
It's very close actually, come on. It's very close. Two pips away. I'm thinking if I should just place my buy order right now. Just to be sure. Almost one pip away. Come on. Uh, yes, yes, more, little more, little. Okay, that's enough. No need to be so greedy. So I have placed my trade right here. And I'm going to set, to set my take profit level to be just right here. So we are aiming about 16 pips of profit. That's totally fine. Uh, let me now pause this video and I will show you what will gonna happen with this candle later. So I just wanted to show you what's happening so far. And just to confirm to you about my theory of support and resistance. Uh, looking back at the pound in ZD, I will go back now to the five minute time frame. Look at that. Look at these candles. Once they reach here, uh, reach uh, this level of this previous support, this one right here, I placed my buy order. And as you can see, uh, followed by three candles, not a single one was able to break out from this support. Five attempts, oh sorry, total of four attempts, four candles to go down to break the support and all of them have failed. Now, what's the reason for that? Go into the four, four minute time frame. As I said, we are now on the creation of a support number two on the four hour time frame. And going to the 30 minute time frame, we were able to tell how to place our order or where is the next, or sorry, what is the best level to start buying the pound NZD. So it was not randomly selected. I didn't just randomly place my order and maybe some traders, if they don't know about support and resistance, they will just randomly place the buy order here or here or there randomly because they are not really sure where to place it. And here in this video on Extreme Trader channel, I'm explaining to you how to find these good support and resistance levels. And what I did here was simply looking at this bullish breakout candle or not breakout candle, looking at this bullish candle and then looking at the nearest support to this bullish candle, which is laying exactly right here and we can see it perfectly matching this level also of the support so right now um let's see the other trades this one uh the 30 minute time frame candle on the euro gpy has just can uh, sorry has just closed and a new candle opened and i think it's gonna be a bearish candle and the pair is gonna reverse very soon we are gonna be in total of almost 14 pips of profit uh, the pound and ZD having now bullish candle and is uh, going toward the tech profit level total of uh, 24 profit dollars 20 dollars profit 24 dollars profit for the pound and ZD so far and the other trades are still not going in profit we're just waiting for them to be in profit finally it might take some time however hopefully it's gonna happen so let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these opened trades. And let's take a look at the trades right now. We are, they are going all in good profit. Uh, we can see right now the CAD GPY is going in total of five pips of profit so far. Um, Euro GPY also in almost four pips of profit. The pound and ZD in I think 13. 13 pips of profit and it's very close to hit the tech profit level and as usual I'm not a greedy person I'm just going to close the trade right now with 41 or 44 dollars of profit I think it's gonna hit the tech profit level let's wait and see no I'm gonna close it right now just to be safe I really encourage you guys to do the same as I do here don't be so greedy waiting for the candle to hit the tech profit level and just see it like two or three pips away and just getting hungry for these two or three pips if you are having like 20 pips uh, profit just take it why you are getting so greedy i really have no idea that uh, it's really painful for me to see people losing uh, the trade just because the trade didn't reach the take profit level i have seen that my eyes actually maybe this is off topic but i just really want to say it for example they said the take profit level right here so they are seeing here the resistance number two, uh, the first resistance, resistance one. And for example, I'm just saying, for example, they are placing the thread right here. And they set this one here as their take profit. Then they see the candle or the market going up here. Then just two pips away before reversing, 
before taking the before hitting the take profit level the market reverse going down all the way why why did you lose the trade why did you just not take the profit once once the candle was really close to the take profit level just accept it don't risk losing 20 pips just in case to earn two pips extra that is really one of the most valuable advices and i highly guys advise you i highly advise you guys to start uh, getting rid of tech profit and stop loss i'm just using them here for educational purpose just to tell you where i should exit my trade but if you are if you are watching my videos every week you can notice that i almost never wait for the candle to hit the tech profit i'm always closing them manually anyway we are on the sell for the cat gpy and the euro gpy and i'm gonna wait for these two trades to close in profit uh, let me now pause the video and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the remaining two trades so looking now at the euro pound that's uh, sorry the euro gpy the euro gpy is very close to hit the tech profit level it's just like two pips away from it and i think i'm gonna close the trade right now with almost 40 dollars pips of profit sorry 40 dollars of profit total i think uh, was eight or nine pips of profit and this one right here five pips of profit i think i think it's gonna reverse however i just don't really want to wait um again i just really want to end this video right now and end this uh, trading session for today uh i know i know it's not really good it's not good at all to end the trade without hitting the tech profit level however uh, i'm just really not in the I just want to end the video okay guys uh, that was my live trading session for today i might open another trades later i'm actually let me just show you this i'm waiting for the pound gpy actually to hit the uh, or sorry to reverse from this resist, uh, from the support right here we are seeing here that we are having a support level now the pound gpy has reversed from this one and i'm gonna wait for the pound gpy to reach this resistance level and then I'm gonna place my trade. Actually, my entry point is gonna be exactly right here. Uh, the reason I'm selecting this level is we're having here the top of this resistance right here. And the very same level was actually a previous support right here. And after this bearish breakout candle, I'm gonna wait for the market to, to, uh, today to reach this level here. And I'm gonna uh, sell the pound GPY hoping for some good profits and I'm gonna keep my trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level here so I'm gonna aim no less than 43 pips of profit hopefully I will get them all and hopefully this is gonna be maybe it's gonna be maybe a good signal so in the end um, that was the live trading session for today I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching